Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. Uh, in last video, we learn about how to take SSH and HTTP of a Huawei device or any other vendor device uh, in a real scenario. So uh, now in this video, we will learn about uh, how to uh, uh, upgrade the firmware. I will uh, uh, give you uh, teach you the options. So here I select in last video, we take the HTTP access. So I will uh, log in to the device. So here are the three modes of AC uh, controller, uh, Huawei controller. So here you have the controller name 6508, it is a LAN controller. So here are different options. So here are first of all uh, uh, AP modes. So there are uh, controller, so the standard mode or cloud mode. So, so first of all uh, we go here. So now you, if you are running this controller, this controller so here it will show the users how many users are active so how many user are using 4g and how we, how many user are uh, using uh, 2.4 g radio so here are uh, show the users so here we go in uh, maintenance so here in maintenance so you will see the different options so now you can see here the license so currently I think uh, this device do not have any license so it will give you the license information total number of license resources is zero because uh, this device do not have any license. So here in uh, license file information so in license file information we can upload a file if you have a license so you just go here in maintenance and in license information so just go here here load. So now here you upload the license, so now you can see here this is the previous licenses. So just select this license and OK. So it license will be uh, the uploaded and then you have to save the device and restart the device, the license will be active. So how to upgrade the firmware, so here just go here down, here the AP maintenance. So if you go down in AP, AP restart, log, account and device upgrade, if you go in device upgrade, so here uh, you have a different options. So it will show the current version of the device. So the current system file is 65021 that I show you earlier that we are using the uh, uh, version 21 firmware. And uh, this is the uh, file version, uh, system file version. So this is the version of file, so here is the 21 version. So uh, the current fi configuration file, there is no configuration file, I think so we do not have yet save the configuration. So if we save the configuration, so it will show the configuration file as well. So uh, here is the current patch file. So if you want to load the uh, configuration file, so this is the next startup uh, system file. So if you want to upgrade the firmware, just uh, up, upgrade the firmware from here. So these are some other firmware. So I have uploaded this. Currently we are using 0 to 1 uh, firmware. So there is also uh, uploaded. Uh, uh, this one is a 2 0 firmware. So you just select this one and then OK. So it will uh, uh, go in the next startup. Then if uh, you go in the system and you just go in the uh, next startup file, uh, restart with the next startup file so it will uh, upgrade the firmware to next level. So if you want to use your own firmware just go here and download the firmware and browse from PC and just select that file and upload and then select that latest firmware and OK and then you can uh, restart, apply and then save and then restart the device so it will uh, go in working so in the same way if you want if you have a configuration file so in the same way you can also select the configuration file just go here this next startup configuration file so go here just upload a configuration from a browse and upload the configuration I have uh, uploaded this uh, different configuration so currently I am using this file so just go here click, click OK and then apply and then save and then restart the device uh, you will uh, uh, upgrade it to latest configuration file here in the same way you can uh, upload the patch of the file the patch of the system so if you are uh, using firmware so you have to uh, upload uh, select the uh, compatible patch as well 
so these are how to upgrade the uh, firmware of a device so in the same way you can uh, upgrade the firmware of any device so here are some other settings that uh, if you want to configure snmp agent so just select and select the version of snmp and then uh, in a that way you can add the uh, vlan and specify the ip and then so use the uh, snmp for the monitoring purpose of the device uh, some other files uh, now you can see here here is a signature database so here you can just uh, uh, select the signature so if you are using your own signatures file so just select the ip of the server and then give the ip and apply so it will load the signature from that server and also port number of that uh, uh, server obviously if you are using the uh, the uh, signatures of the huawei from it will uh, import the signature from huawei security sec.huawei.com this is the huawei server so it will uh, extract the uh, signature from that uh, server and then apply and then save and then restart so it will work so here are many other settings so here is a diagnostic information if uh, you are uh, you want to take the test uh, triple a test uh, trace route uh, and other tests so you can take the trace route of the uh, device so i am here let's check 172.161.1 either we can take this trace or not let's see so i have connected the controller with my lan cable with the management ip of 172.161.1 so i am taking the uh, trace let's see the trace is in progress either it's go successful or not so uh, the configuration check either there is a fault in configuration or not so now you can s check the configuration so it's saying that the configuration is normal or all the configuration all the will tell you the all the system so uh, i think the trace does ping if you want to ping so 172.161.1 so start let's start let's see it's so i t i think it take a process so it's it's saying that cli allows you to set more parameter for the ping, ping operation i think the cli is the best way to take the uh, ping so let's uh, go toward the configuration so here you can add a ac name ac name is a country code and uh, if you want to system time automatically or from the your uh, ntp server so you can select the ntp server ip and here is the esn of device and other settings so ap go off offline if uh, here we can authenticate the ap via a serial number or mac so here you add the basic vlan the vlan of the uh, link uh, just going toward the, the controller and vlan ip address of the controller and pool vlan interfaces and pool if you want to uh, add a pool in a controller so you can create a pool over here and also ap configuration now you can see here the ap configuration here in the monitoring tab you will see the monitoring tools the you can see the uh, user online users radio and some other configuration ssid how many ssids are uh, running and how many are not uh, working so here if you want to uh, create an ssid so you can also create the ssid so now here you can create an ssid huawei huawei wlan solution solution so is a single vlan or uh, it will use the uh, pool of vlan so i am selecting single vlan so it will select the that the select the vlan so i have created a management vlan so i am selecting vlan 1 as a default and it's uh, use the which mode tunnel mode or forwarding mode so this is select the forwarding mode of the device and then we will do next and next here will uh, it will the you can set the password of the device so select the authentic encryption type this is the i think the best encryption type and then key 
so you can uh, uh, keep the key so i am uh, keeping the key as a my key is a uh, what should be the key keyboard keyboard sorry keyboard 123 so this is my key i am keeping for wlan so this is keyboard 123 so i will do next so it will uh, send the binding the ap group the ap group if you want to bind in the ap group so just select the i am using the default ap group okay default and then uh, uh, this is a vlan id configuration this is a vlan id we have selected so if you want to limit the rate on a specific ssid so you can use unlimited or a limited so you can uh, select the uh, limitation in a kps kpps okay and then i'm selecting and then you will finish so ssid would be created and then you have to select the aps and then give the ap as a uh, uh, what we say uh, vlan and uh, its port we have you have to uh, trunk its port or access its ports and then you will able to uh, Uh, get the this SSID, and you will able to connect on this SSID. So this is the basic setting of uh, a controller. So in the same way, you can uh, use uh, any uh, other device uh, of uh, Huawei via uh, GUI. So it's I think it's uh, easy to manage controller or any other device uh, through GUI. So this is how you can select from here. You can select the security SSL, ACL, and other uh, defense attacks so this is the basic uh, overview of this device so hope you like the video so let's see uh, see you in uh, uh, next video so thank you and hope you like the video please subscribe and share video thank you